Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about this palette here. I'm going to dive deep on what you can do with it. What else can you do with a palette like that? I know a lot of people own this palette and they're asking what can I do with it? Apart from playing with color, what else? This is the video that you should watch then. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so before starting, make sure to hit the subscribe button here and let's get started with the palette. This palette is actually a pretty known palette in the makeup artistry side. Like if you're a professional makeup artist, you should have this in your kit or had it. I don't know if some people don't use it anymore. Some people still have it because they like to custom create their own foundations and their own skin colors. So this is something that is very, very used. You can see here. <laughs> I use it a lot because apart from custom create my own foundation or anything like that or correct any foundation undertone, I like to use it also as an eyeshadow base. I have used it also as lip color sometimes. You don't have the perfect lip color that you're looking for. Like maybe it's missing a little bit more of blue or maybe uh, you want it more into the orangey side. So anything that you want to custom create or correct you can do it with this palette. Something that I love about the palette is that first it has all of your primary colors which is pretty pretty nice because with those colors you can custom uh, your own foundation undertone. For example, if you buy a foundation and the foundation is too cool for you or too warm, you can add a little bit of whatever is missing and then create the color that you need for your skin. You can also color correct on their eye. So you can use either red. Sometimes red is too intense, but that can actually help you correct. Or you can use this color over here. That's another amazing thing about the palette that they included these four colors over here and the brown, which with the brown is actually easier if you want to create a base color, like your own foundation color, because you don't have to create the brown and then play with the other colors to create then the foundation. So the brown is a pretty nice added color to the palette. Also, I love the fact that all of the shades and the palette is very creamy because you can use it with liquids, which sometimes mixing a liquid with a cream color can be difficult but this one is pretty nice because it's cream but it's a very thin cream consistency so it's not gonna be super super thick that you can combine it with a liquid also i love that you can use this as a base for eyeshadow for example some eyeshadows don't have a very strong pigment and you can uh, hear for example oh i have someone that i want to use an eyeshadow that is super pastel and it's a pastel blue or a pastel green or even a pastel uh, yellow so you can combine uh, the white and the yellow create the pastel shade that you're looking for use it as a base and then apply the eyeshadow that's actually is going to give you more intensity when you do that and that's something that is amazing about this palette and you'll be asking yourself well there is right now a bunch of brands that is selling eyeshadow primers that already have the color i don't have to combine anything yes that's true but imagine having to have in your kit if you're a professional makeup artist 50 shades because eyeshadow color are infinite of colors and if you have to have like a nice shadow base for each one could be like hundreds while in here you have everything and you can do and custom the color that you're looking for so basically this is something that is going to save space and money in your makeup kit I have a video here in the channel, I'm going to link it here, where I use it and color correct a model's face. She was pretty tan, but she did a spray tan and it was already wearing off. And she has a little bit of redness on her skin. If you see the video, you're gonna find like she has a couple of red spots around the face. And also you can see like the spray tan wearing off 
in the surroundings. So I color corrected her face using the colors that is going to help me like mask those imperfections. And I did her foundation and everything. And you can see in that video, the step-by-step -step process on how I color corrected using this palette. So I would suggest that you after watching this video, <laughs> go and check that one out because it's very informative. And also I want you guys to leave me in the comments below if you want me to do another video in where I actually do custom create a foundation color on myself or maybe try it on somebody else and teach you how to do it with this palette because I know it's going to be super interesting. But I want you guys to let me know if that's going to be something that you want to actually watch. This is a pretty nice palette. I would suggest that if you are a person that has a lot of problems finding the right colors or undertones in your foundations to have this in your kit. And something that I actually, I don't want to say hate because hate is a very strong <laughs> word, but something that I don't like to see around is when I see all of these beauty gurus or whatever that they uh, apply their foundation and before applying foundation they put a bunch of colors on their faces without really needing anything or any type of correction and they actually don't teach the audience what and why they're doing what they're doing so uh, having this palette is one of the things that is going to teach you how to learn about color theory which is very important especially if you are a makeup artist. This is something that I actually bought because of it. I wanted to learn more about color theory. I wanted to learn more about how to correct correctly <laughs> a face, a skin, and I wanted to make sure that I nailed it and have the, the skills to do it without relying on only the foundation undertone because there's no foundation in the world right now or there's no brands right now that have that foundation that is going to be perfect for everyone. So you have to always be correcting and adding and customizing depending on the person that you have sit down in your chair or if it's on you, then you have to make sure that you have your own foundation perfectly for your skin. So in conclusion, get this palette. Make sure that you also uh, learn a little bit more about color theory. It's very easy. You can find a bunch of videos here in the platform. And I can also make one. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a uh, color theory video because this can be also very interesting and can add to the conversation that we're having today. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel again, hit the thumbs up and share this video and information with everyone that needs a little bit more help in finding products that actually work for them. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> bye bye. Yo.